Welcome back to Serenity, my T-Tube channel. My name is Sarah and I talk all about tea here. I'm going to be doing a review today on David's Tea's chocolate chip cookie. And I'm actually going to do my tea tasting a little bit different than normal today. This is a fairly new tea. It's kind of had mixed reviews and so I'm going in knowing that. But I absolutely love dessert style teas. And when I saw chocolate chip cookie, I just had to add it to my haul. If you watched my most recent unboxing, this one was in it. One of the other tea tubers that I follow, she actually posted about it a few days ago and David's Tea reached out to her and they suggested that she try it as a latte with some chocolate milk. So that should be kind of interesting to have today. I did open it this morning in order to get my cold steep prepared, but I didn't spend much time with it. So let's see what it smells like. Well, looking at it, it's a really pretty black tea. Mm. I'm going to see if you can see in there. I have a new camera now, so I can actually look into the little screen and see if you can see my tea. That's kind of cool. So it's a nice black tea. And it's smelling to me like those hard chocolate chip cookies, I think. I haven't had them in so many years, but I used to get them all the time when I was a kid. I think they're Chips Ahoy. They were those really, really firm ones that were extra delicious when you dip them in milk. Oh man, I kind of want to eat that. Like it's making me wish that I would have gone out and got a whole box of those Chips Ahoy cookies for this. I really should have done that. That would have been a nice combo for this. Well, too late now. <laughs> So I think the way that I'm going to do this today is I'm going to make it hot and plain first and then I've also brought out a couple different Campbell's Gold Honeys to try and infuse into my plain hot tea. And then after that, I'm going to do two different lattes. I'm going to do a cold latte and then I'm going to do it hot. I have my Breville Milk Frother right here, ready to go. I've actually only had a cold tea latte once in my life. I went to the David's Tea store that used to be just three minutes away here and I stopped by after work and they made me a blueberry shake iced latte. I really liked it at the beginning, but I found that the ice kind of watered it down. So what I actually did this morning after my tea finished steeping, I made myself a tea concentrate ice cube. So I'll have that to go into my tea latte today. I'm going to get this tea poured out so that you can see it up close. I got myself a weird little bowl from a flea market. I love going shopping at flea markets and finding little treasures. The ingredients on this one are black tea, apple, raisin, chocolate, roasted chicory root, natural chocolate cookie flavoring, gluten-free oats, rooibos, and stevia extract. Let's get this tea scooped out. And then I'll get it steeping up for you. This is the mug that I got on the Black Friday haul. Oh my goodness, I wish I would have grabbed a few more of them. I love it so much. I think it's my favorite mug I've ever seen. It's so pretty. I've seen a lot of other people post review videos with this mug and it just makes every tea look good. Get a good scoop here.
my tea is all steeped up and ready to try. I let it steep for about five minutes and I use 200 degree Fahrenheit water. My Breville kettle is just wonderful for that. If you don't have a variable temperature kettle, I would 100% recommend it. It was a game changer for my tea making ability. So let's see what this tea smells like. Hmm. So the dry leaf smelled identical to that cookie I was talking about, but steeped up it smells more like oats, like chocolate oats. I don't, maybe, maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. <laughs> So smell wise, it's really coming off strong, like black tea and oats to me. So I haven't added any sweetener to this yet. I just wanted to give my very first taste hot and plain. So let's give it a try. I probably could have gone a little bit stronger with my tea. I'm actually gonna add like another half scoop in there. I think I made it too weak. I only did one scoop and I should have done like a big heaping scoop because this mug is really large. I definitely did go too weak on that one though. Just let it sit in there for a few minutes. So while I wait for it to do a little bit more steeping with a little more tea in it, I know that's not a conventional way to make it, but I don't want to start from scratch. Let's see what they say about it on their website. The way they describe this tea on their website is baked oat flavor layered with sweet chocolate. Chocolate chip cookies are the unsung heroes of breakups, makeups, and late night study sessions. We've put all the things you love about this old timey comfort food into a rich black tea. Sweet brown sugar, chewy and dewy chocolate, and a sprinkle of oats. Life has never been so sweet in your mug. <laughs> I think when it comes to dessert style teas, especially when they're named after an actual like good, like a cake or a cookie, that you have to keep in mind that it's a tea and you're not gonna get the same like full flavor as you would if you were actually biting into a cookie. So the tea's looking a lot darker now that I added that extra half scoop in. Maybe it's just one of those teas that needs one and a half perfect spoons. I drink most of my teas with just one perfect spoon, but my mom loves two. So I guess it just all depends on your taste and then also on the tea. So let's try this tea now that I've added more to it. Okay, that's more like it. I definitely went too weak on the first part. With this tea, I would recommend then a scoop and a half at least for a large mug like this. So it is a black tea. There's no astringency to this one. I'm getting oats and I'm getting a back end of chocolate. You would think with a chocolate chip cookie tea that it would be like one of those really, really sweet forefront type teas. It's not as crazy of a dessert tea as I was expecting. A lot of people have said that it's very stevia forward for them, but I'm not very stevia sensitive, so I probably can't gauge that for everybody. I know for a lot of people they have allergies or they dislike the flavor, but I guess I kind of just don't really notice it. Oh, I'm tasting the stevia a little bit now. In the middle of what I'm talking, it's kind of like a sneak up behind you on your palate. I don't taste it when I drink the tea initially. I don't even taste it right now. I bet it's gonna come back when I'm in the middle of talking again. <laughs> okay, now for the honey. I brought out my Campbell's Gold Chocolate Honey for this one. Chocolate chip cookie, I kind of felt like it needed chocolate honey. I'm just gonna do a little bit. I don't go heavy on my sweeteners. Just a little scoop like that. I just mainly like to use my sweeteners as a way to enhance my tea, not to overpower them. And that's one thing I love about Campbell's Gold is they have all these different flavored honeys. So like if I'm having a fruit tea, I have this big selection of different honeys to pull out different fruit flavors if I want to. All right, I think it's stirred in there. Let's see how it is with chocolate honey infused. Definitely more chocolatey for sure. As much as I love my Campbell's Gold chocolate honey, I think I actually preferred it totally plain. I just kind of liked that oat taste. I liked the oats being forefront and it being a little bit more, I don't know how you would describe it, oaty. <laughs> I mean, it's still good with the honey, it's just that I'm finding I appreciated the flavor all on its own better. After seeing all of those reviews, I 
I was actually bracing myself to dislike this tea and I haven't done a review on a tea that I didn't like yet so I was a little bit nervous. If you're sensitive to stevia, now that I'm able to actually pick it up on the aftertaste, then you might want to keep that in mind. But if you just like an oaty, chocolatey, cookie type tea with a black tea base, so it definitely does taste like black tea, this might be a tea that you really enjoy. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get started on my two different lattes. It's gonna be a lot of tea for me to drink tonight, and it's a black tea, so I might be up for a while. Maybe I can actually stay up late and play Dragon Age for a while. <laughs> I just got to the part, no spoilers please, but I just got to the part where I'm in Skyhold and I get to fix up this really, really cool giant fortress. And I have all of my companions now, and I modded the game very thoroughly. I think I'm gonna fall in love with Blackwall. I took his beard off and he's got a really pretty face under there. <laughs> okay, enough about video games. That was for you, Jackie. <laughs> but let's get this latte started. So I just got this out of my fridge. It's been steeping in my fridge for the last 12 hours. I got up at 5 and then I got it steeping by 5.30 and it's 5.30 p.m. now. What I ended up doing is I did two heaping perfect spoons, then I heated my water up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and then I poured in just enough to cover up my tea leaves. I've read that you're not supposed to directly cold steep tea unless it's specifically made to cold steep, so I always use hot water first, just a little bit. And I left it for about five minutes and then I poured a little bit of cold water in and stuck it in the fridge for an hour. Then I came down and I poured the milk in because I didn't really want to pour the milk into the hot. And the amount that I did was about three quarters just regular whole milk and then one quarter chocolate milk. I find that chocolate milk can really kind of be overpowering and I wanted it just to kind of enhance. I didn't want to be drinking like the syrupy chocolate milk, even though I love drinking it on its own. My dad actually went and picked me up chocolate milk and strawberry milk so I could try to make a chocolate strawberry latte and I ended up downing all the strawberry milk just by itself. <laughs> I got this off of Amazon. It is just the most amazing cold steeper. I'll link the Amazon product in my description below, just in case you want something like this. I'm gonna get this poured into my Breville milk frother. I'm gonna froth the entire thing cold first so that I don't accidentally leave too little to be able to do my hot froth because the Breville machine does have a minimum amount that you need to have in it. This is smelling fantastic though. I'm just getting wafts of the chocolate milk and I'm smelling the cookie. It just, it smells delightful. All right, I'm gonna get the cold froth going here. I've actually never used my Breville for cold frothing before. This is a first for me. I have no idea how it will turn out. Oh. It really frothed. I was actually not really expecting too much out of that. I'm gonna bring out a plastic spoon because the sound of metal on metal, it just kills me. I've got those sound issues, the sound of like people eating or the sound of people slurping or like metal on metal. Oh, it does weird things to my brain. Okay, let's see here. Wow. Okay. So I wanna show you, see if you can see it how frothy that is. That's pretty cool. I was not expecting that. I just need to make sure I don't accidentally use up too much. Look at that. That is so cool. I just love Breville. I have pretty much Breville everything that I can, that I need. I've got my toasters Breville. My microwave down here is a Breville crisper, so I can actually make things crispy. Have ever heard of such an amazing thing? So I mentioned before that I did a tea concentrate ice cube. Just gonna throw that in there too. Help it get colder. My very first iced tea latte that I've ever made myself. David's tea was right. This is unbelievable as an iced tea latte with chocolate milk. It's like the chocolate almost enhanced the chocolate chips in the cookie. This is so good this way. I was just gonna do hot and plain and then a hot latte. I'm so glad that I went ahead and tried this as an iced latte, or I should say a cold steeped latte. Well, I guess it's kind of iced now that I got my tea concentrate ice cube in there.
This is like next level good this way. So when you make it, I would really recommend doing mostly just plain milk and like a quarter or a third chocolate so that you still get that oat flavor coming through and it doesn't get overpowered by the chocolate because this chocolate here is just really enhancing that cookie. It's just, it's delicious. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with this. So if you don't like this tea hot and plain, not all teas need to be drank hot and plain. Maybe try it as an iced latte. Maybe try it as a chocolate iced latte. It's just, it's delicious. I mean, I was not expecting to like it this much. This almost tastes like I've gone to a store and had someone make me a fancy iced latte. All right, now that I've done it as a cold latte, I'm gonna switch it up. Let's put my breville back to hot. Optimum milk temperature and see how that compares hot versus cold. Let's see? Oh, it didn't really uh, froth this time. Let's try this as a hot latte. I guess the froth, it didn't froth bad. I'm just used to it frothing really tall. All right, let's see what this is like as a hot latte, a hot chocolate latte. Mmm, really nice. This tastes like if you were to have a warm cup of milk and you just dipped your cookie into the steaming milk and took a bite and the warmth was still on the cookie, that's what's in this mug right now. It's really good. Yeah, that's delicious. I think the winner for me out of these three is definitely the iced latte because that, that just blew my mind for an iced latte. It was so good. And I feel like this flavor profile is better suited to the cold, but the hot latte is still delicious. The hot tea, I would say I can see how it's like hit or miss for some people. For me, I wouldn't say it was 100% a hit, but I don't even know which one I'm gonna drink first. <laughs> Probably the hot latte, finish up with the hot tea. I'll go put that on my tea warmer plate. I just got myself a mug warmer and it's sitting on my office desk upstairs and it just makes a world of difference. I was expecting it to either make it too hot or too cold, but it just keeps it kind of perfect. And I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. And also, I wanted to show you this. I got myself a tea planner. If you've watched Tea Leaf Project's videos, every now and then she does a planner video. And it got me thinking that I should try to keep track of the teas that I drink and just kind of see which ones speak to me the most. And maybe at the end of the year, I will kind of do a look back. And then maybe I can talk about what really ended up being my top 10 favorite because you know your favorites by how often you drink them and reach for them. So I thought that was kind of cool. So it's just a 2021 planner from Bed Bath & Beyond. And so far I've been really good about keeping track of my teas. Thought that would be kind of fun to do. So thanks Stephanie for your planner videos that kind of inspired me to do this. Overall, I really enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun doing things a little bit different. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you have any other suggestions on how to make this tea, I'd love to hear them. If any of you have tried this tea as a latte, especially if you've added chocolate milk to it, let me know what you think about it. I'd love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching.